My name is Tanya with Subtown Tours and today Berkeley and I thought we could do some rubbings of cement markers and manhole covers and water main covers. So I chose this particular cover after our neighborhood reconnaissance because of these beautiful roses here. So we were inspired in a great part by Christopher Gossat's um, 1983 book in which he went around the city. I think we've got a picture of him in here. Doing rubbings. Now you're probably like me without having a lot of equipment on you. So we brought out our jar of crayons. I do have a little bit of chalk. So we are gonna try crayon first. What I'm trying to do is see if I can get that rose to come through. So I just took a crayon that doesn't have any paper on it and I'm just rubbing the side of the crayon against the rose here. rose came out pretty nice. Let's see what would happen if we do some chalk on the other rose. Now if you end up doing rubbings with chalk and you don't have a lot of art materials at home, one way you can do to make that stay is you can spray it with hairspray if you have any hairspray at home. That's one way you can get it to set. Ooh, look, that came up pretty nice. You can see that Portland, Oregon part right there. Portland, Oregon, water. A little rose. So that's a nice, beautiful water meter right here in St. John's. Here is another Mason mark. Placed differently than the last time we checked out mason marks. You can rub mason marks as well. I'll try to get in the whole, as much of the name as possible. How about just the last name and the date? and co came out pretty good. Thank you for coming to Slabtown Tours. Little Mason rubbing mark today. <laughs>